Yo, it's good YouTube. It is your boy Flyer69 coming at you guys today with episode 3 of the Philadelphia Flyers franchise mode. And in this episode, we are doing the trade deadline and simming up through the rest of the season. So we'll figure out our draft lottery position this season unless we make playoffs. So let's be real, where we are currently in the standings, that ain't going to happen. So we don't need to worry about that. We're 13 points back. Yeah, that's not going to happen. So we're going to figure out where we're going to be drafting uh, next episode. This is going to be something very interesting because there are three guys in this draft class that we want. Three franchise-changing guys. That is Timothy Lebedev, Matevi Machikov, and Connor Bedard. Yes, Bedard is ranked third. It, 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 I, they didn't make him OP. That's all I can say. You got Pierce Silverguard here, who's 85 kilograms. Okay, I just remembered. Don't mind the height and weight, okay? Actually, let me go fix that right now because I am currently on New Zealand because I wanted to fix my... You, you know why I'm at New Zealand. We, we all know why. Because as I'm playing this game, still not out yet and I finished all my trial time. So... Listen... I don't know kilograms or centimeters. I am not British. I am American. It's only height and weight, uh, feet and whatever. So I got to go figure this out now. The centimeter. How do I fix this? I'm still in New Zealand, so I don't know if I can change it. It made me British when I first came in. I don't know why. Uh, is it accessibility? Where the fuck would this be? Let me go figure this out. All right. So we are stuck with just having to deal with the kilograms and centimeters for now. We're just... We're stuck with it. It's going to be fixed for next episode. It, it will be. I I only did it so I can play today. Because nah, I ran through all the trial time. <laughs> so, yeah. So, don't mind the centimeters and kilograms. That's throwing me the hell off, too. Don't don't worry about it. Uh, and hopefully, I'm hoping it doesn't mess with everything, anything else. So, for like, European viewers... Uh, You'll be custom to this. I am not. You guys know American. We don't do that uh that shit around here. Uh we already got the prospects. We're already scouting them up. Uh, I'm just trying to make sure nothing else is messed with because of that. No, alright, we're good. We're good. Okay. But that is a little bit triggering. Just a little bit. Alright, let's let's get focused here, because that that is that, that is shameful, but it's whatever. We're almost at the trade deadline. It's coming up very soon. We are currently 21, 24, and 8, and we are on a little bit of a win streak. Two two wins. Not bad. We beat the Oilers 4 2 and shut out the Preds, but now we're playing the Kraken back to back. Okay. Uh, we got a little bit of a West Coast swing here the Kraken, Canucks, Flames, and Oilers. All right. So we are going into the deadline. We're trading Tony D'Angelo. I already said this. We are going to trade Tony D'Angelo. We are looking for the best. Oh, I did. I see a change. Top right corner, the date. That's different. It's 12.02.23, but that's something I can comprehend, so that's not going to trigger me. That's not going to trigger me much. I can comprehend that. Okay, back to the subject. We're going to trade Tony D'Angelo. Well, we definitely are going to do it. Now, who else? There might be other players getting traded, but we don't know. Maybe there might be more. Maybe there won't be. I don't know. Let's keep going. We do lose to the Kraken. Uh, we lose to them again. Okay, and oh, oh. This is, I love to see it. You're a good tank job, boys. Right, let's just get to this Devils game. We'll put Faraby back in the lap. A 2-1 loss to the Canadians. Well, ain't that something. Okay, um, we need to put Faraby in. All right, we need, so Coots, he's been doing good, but fourth line's going to have to get messed with. Uh, Cutter Gauthier, I mean, he's got, yeah, he's falling off a bit now. Uh, we should probably bring him back into the AHL. Should we? No. I have an idea. I have an idea. Let me mess with this. Alright, how about this? Top six is looking a little different here. We got Farabee back on that first line. But we have Cutter Goche moved up to the second line. Yes, I know he hasn't been playing as good as lately. However, you put him on the second line with two veterans like Hayes and Atkinson. That can really help his development a really good amount. I don't know if I want to drop him to AHL. Might be just better off just letting him play, honestly. Just get some NHL reps. I don't think that's going to hurt him that much. I think it's just better off. We just keep him up. 
All right, let's just keep simming along. See, oh, we get a 6-1 dub there against the Devils and a 5-2 dub against the Rangers. So it does seem to me that the line changes are working. Uh, we also, I, is, are these defensive line changes? I am not sure if these are defensive line changes. I, I didn't show you guys. You got Provorov and Sanheim, York and D'Angelo, and Rista Line and Ronnie Attard. So now here we are going into the deadline. We got... A big deadline here for us because we're getting rid of D'Angelo. We know for sure we're getting rid of him. Uh, we have Sandheim locked up long term, so he ain't going nowhere. Atkinson may be a guy we try and look to trade. Uh, let's re-sign Frost. We want him, obviously. 4.6 mil for two years. What have you done? They deserve 4.6. You only have 30. I mean, hmm. Hmm. Okay. I like Frost. I mean, we could get him on a one-year deal for that and then maybe have him ask for less money. I think that would be potentially a smart play here. Let's get him for four mil for a year. I'm okay for one year, but two? We'll see. We'll see about that. I'm not sure about that, Morgan Frost. I am not sure about that. All right, let's go to the trade deadline. Let's waste no more time. All right, we are a seller. We know what we are trying to do. We want Connor Bedard. We are hard for Bedard. They want, they're trying to trade Ryan Ellis. Don't blame you. That's why we tried doing it as quick as possible. Can't blame you guys, but you're the dipshits that took them on. So thank you. Uh, who the hell said we want Alex Iofalo? I don't remember saying that at all. And Mikheyev, no, we don't want. Oh, uh, typical, yeah. Now Phil Kessel, maybe, but no, we're not going for him. Uh, Rasmus Sandin, they still don't have him signed. EA, way to go. Uh, why am I looking to, like, trade for anybody? Uh, why am I doing that, actually? That is a great question. All right, Tony D'Angelo, his trade value is very high. So is Frost. Frost has some pretty good trade value. Uh, let's see what we can get here. Billy Huso, Kenny Dadanoff, Gallagher. Okay, I'm not crazy for any of these trades, but I can cook something up. What if I were to pair these two together? Okay. Well... I can keep looking for a D'Angelo trade without trying to do the trade finder. All right, let's see who all wants Tony D'Angelo. Has to be a playoff contending team, obviously. Uh, the Bruins. I think that could be a good fit potentially. The Boston Bruins. Um, defensively they got McAvoy, Lindholm, Carlo, Riley, Forbort. Okay, that might not be a bad fit. Uh, Calgary. Mm, maybe. Colorado's not doing too hot in this sim. Uh, Detroit. Would Detroit want him? Yeah, yes. They they probably would. Uh, would they be... I mean, we can get a first-round pick out of this, though. We can easily get a first-round pick. Ooh, okay. Okay. Can we get Boston's first-round pick? Oh, we can. Okay. And we and then we can get then some. Oh, here we go. Uh, we're gonna try it with Detroit, though. We'll try Detroit. Because I think I could see... Detroit potentially making this if well I don't think anyone's giving up a first round pick for Tony D'Angelo to be fair why would they oh never mind never never mind never mind never mind I was gonna say why would they want to trade him uh they traded Billy Huso in exchange for Ryan Ellis ain't that some shit have yourselves a season Edmonton uh poor Edmonton uh Montreal I mean that might not be a bad fit the Islanders the Pens, not making a trade with the Pens. I'll tell you that now. Um, let's. Tr well, we have two options here: Boston, or it will either be. Well, now Detroit don't want them, so okay. So it's gonna have to be Boston. All right, Boston, it is. Uh, we'll get a. F we'll try for their first. Uh, we'll. They have no second round picks, but we need to take a player on anyway, so they're not over. Uh, we'll take Mark McLaughlin here. They'd be over. I mean, we can retain some salary. I'm cool with that. Just a little bit. All right, there we go. We can retain a little bit of salary. And what else here? Can we take anything else that'd be, you know, maybe worthwhile? Zaboral? I think this could work. Uh, at first, let's see if they take this. They do take that. Okay, it's a steal. We got our first round pick out of Tony D'Angelo. Oh, I love that. Oh, dub, dub. Thank you, Chuck Fletcher, for giving me a guy that I can trade and flip at the deadline. Thank you. Oh, Avalanche are shipping sail. They're they're blowing it up. No franchise dynasty no more. Oh, uh, I would love Phil Kessel, but that'd more be a free agency move than anything. Rasmus Ristolainen. Would anyone even want Risto? 
I already said I wouldn't trade him anyway, but you get a third round pick out of him, but geez, I mean, I'm surprised there are potential suitors for him. Uh, we offered Frost his deal that was like four mil per one year. I'm just curious, would there be anyone else I'd be willing to trade? Maybe Hayes? Maybe. Uh, I mean, Risto, obviously, I'd be willing to trade. Isaac Radcliffe has a little bit of a trade value. Okay, no one wants him. Never mind. I was going to say, he has some value. Maybe someone wants him. No, no one does. All right, Cam Axon, this is the guy I'm potentially willing to trade. Uh, Two-thirds. Two-thirds. Okay. That's that's not bad. I mean, we could get rid of him. Uh, I would like to keep Morgan Frost, obviously. Yeah, I want to build around Frost. We're not going to try and look for a trade. I think that would just be stupid. We need all the good young players that we can get. Uh, I mean... He has two years on his... Three years, actually. Risto has five on his. I mean... We need kind of... We do kind of need to use all the defensemen before we run out of any. But I'd be okay trading Atkinson here to Winnipeg for two-thirds, basically. So we just kind of get a salary dump here. I could see this working out for Winnipeg. We just want third-round picks. We just need to get a little bit more cap space for the future. Not yet... It, necessarily but all right oh uh, i think that will be all what we're gonna do here in this free agency not free agency, trade deadline geez all right we're good uh oh they sent me a risto trade but i don't want it don't ma oh, okay i thought i left it i did not apparently okay that is the trade deadline we made some two solid moves we traded came action for two third round picks and we got a first round Ooh, actually, we can take Eric Comrie here, actually. This might be a dub move. We can claim him and have him be our backup goaltender. I think this is just working out phenomenally for us. Ooh, okay, here we go. We got we flipped Tony D'Angelo for a first-round pick from Boston. That is a dub and a half right there. Uh, we want Comrie up in the NHL. Uh, I don't necessarily want Sandstrom in the... I mean, he hasn't been bad, though. That's the thing. But he hasn't been bad. All right, boom. We can do that. We can do. We can do best lines here. Uh. Wait, no, we no. It's just the goaltender, Eric Comrie. Uh, but then we took in Zaboral though. Unless they fixed that already. I think they did. I think they already got him in there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't like that pairing though. Uh, I mean that works. York, we're still. I mean, defensively, we are. We're worse, but we got rid of Tony D'Angelo. I mean, it's okay. Cutter go Owen Tippett went down in some overalls. Okay. Well, well, yeah, Kim axon has gone now. So, all right. Uh, Frost, Simmons, Cates. Yeah, we'll put... I have a young line there, the second line. Cutter Gauthier, Kevin Hayes, Owen Tippett. That works. Konechny, Couturier, Farabee, Cates, Frost. Uh, anyone else that's scratch? I mean, I'd rather have Wade, Wade Allison play than Nick DeLaurier. Come on now, he's young. We maybe develop them into something. Maybe. That's that's bold to assume, but maybe you can. Uh, we'll take McEwen out, I guess, for Ratcliffe. Would that make the line better by any chance? It would. Okay. So we'll rock with that. Uh, we do have our fourth line center, I guess, now. Wade Allison. We'll put, yeah. Okay. Boom. Oh, I, I don't know why. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I don't understand why it'd be a minus one, but. It is what it is. Uh, Mark McLaughlin, he'll be our fourth line center. Simmons, goat. Uh, okay, yeah, we're fully in for the Conrad Hard sweepstakes now. We're fully into it. We are knees deep. We are hard for Bedard. It is time to bring Con we, at least one of the three, to be honest. It's just the saying hard for Bedard just means we're tanking, obviously. Everyone knows this. Exactly. Thank you. See, this is what happens when you have a competent GM making moves ownership. Comcast looking at you when you have competent management you get a first round pick you're rebuilding you're good to gain frost resigned that's perfect cam york resigned perfect we got frost on a steal but i mean not really a steal he shouldn't he's not really worth four million but he's young so we'll let it slide we're winning a little bit here we're on a nice little win little wins yeah we were on a win streak but okay now it's starting to die down all right so now we are currently sitting at 28, 34, and 9 on March 25th. All right. If the season were to end today, where would we be in terms of lottery? That's, this is big. Oh, 
Panthers are the best team in the league. Penguins, the Islanders, okay. Winnipeg's up there. We would be fifth. Vegas is poverty. Uh, I mean, we're shitty. Chicago, oh, I'm doing my own 36 team franchise mode uh, for myself. And Chicago is like a top 10 team. And this is the first year I'm talking about. I don't understand how or why they're a top 10 team by any means, but they are. I, I don't get it. That's the EA for you. I mean, there should be no way they should be that high. But they're top 10. It don't make any sense. We're halfway through the season. But that was just something I just can't fathom. <laughs> I just don't get it. Coyotes make sense. The Kraken, okay. Canucks, uh, then Vegas, us. Minnesota struggling this year. Anaheim, Edmonton's just not the wagon that they usually are. The Rangers aren't really doing anything. The Bruins, they're eh. Uh... Oh wait, yeah. Let's look at the Atlantic. Since if they're eh, are they in a? They're they aren't in a playoff spot. They're not in a playoff spot. Oh, here we go. Let's go. If they were to miss the playoffs, that'd be two lottery picks right there. They have a game in hand over the Lightning, and they are playing pretty good. It's just a lot of good teams in the East this season. So maybe we get lucky and they miss the playoffs potentially. And we couldn't get lucky here. Goals for who are the? Uh, Colorado is the best. How are we? We are bottom two. We are tied with Buffalo. But Buffalo is still in the hunt for a playoff spot being the worst team for goals for. Ain't that something? Goals against? We're not even that bad. We're not even that bad with goals against. We're actually not terrible. 287. That's not atrocious. Not fantastic. But it's not atrocious. So that's good to see. Oh, I want to check my, uh, what do you call Special teams. How are we looking? Power play. We are 14%. I mean, better than the Islanders. <laughs> and penalty kill, 88. We're actually pretty good on the penalty kill. So it's just offensively we struggle, which I'm not surprised. <laughs> Defensively, we're not great. We need gold. I was about to say we need goaltending. I don't know what I'm talking about if I say that. Hard's been pretty solid this year. Uh, I mean, I mean, Lee recently has been great, but he has no defense. I mean, we've we've traded a lot of defensemen here, so I would understand why there's a lot of goals being let in. But we're gonna be we're we're deep, we're knees deep into this uh, blow, tank job right now, and I mean, we're in there. We are thoroughly in the fun in the hunt. Jesus, my English, my God, I am struggling today. But um, we are. If we can just land a top five pick, that would just do wonders for this team. Just give us a top five pick. Well, preferably top three, obviously. If we just get one of these three. One of these three. Lebedev, Machikov, Bedard. If we can get one of the three, holy shit, do we have a future coming. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, they would easily change the course of the franchise and we can build around them very easily. It won't be hard. So we're just hoping and praying. Maybe we get a little worse. Fall into that top uh, bottom three. Now we need to scout around where Boston's going to pick. So as of right now, they're like 16th, 17th. If the season were to probably end at right now. So keep an eye on Riley Robbins. Keep an eye on... Hmm, who else? Uh, Hunter... I'm... <laughs> I don't even want to try to pronounce the last name. Keep an eye on him. Denisov. He's someone to keep an eye on. Callum Ritchie. Uh, Justin Cote. So, him. Yeah. I mean, there's some Russians. Ben Lads and all one we should keep our eye out on. Casper uh, Holotinen. He should be one we need to keep our eye out on. There's a lot of good prospects. I mean, decent prospects around this area. So, we need to really focus on that. And we need to scout heavy. Because we're going to really build through a young team. And we, I need to go do that right now. All right, I finished up my scouting. However, we need to keep an eye on one Russian in particular. There is one, and he's not in the top. He's not in the first round. His name, we already went over him last episode, but I need to focus on him again. Boris Fedorov. This guy might be a dog. He could be top six. He could be an elite. He's probably more likely a medium top six, but this is going to be a quality guy we can get in the second round. And we do have our second round pick back now, so that's a good thing. So we're keeping an eye on him. He's one guy I really liked when I was looking through. So 
I'm feeling good. We're feeling good about this draft coming up. I think we're going to do wonders, hopefully, to really turn this franchise around here. Hopefully, we make the playoffs quicker than we did with um, Chicago, obviously. It took us six seasons. We'll just try not to have that happen. As we're going on a little bit of a win streak here, uh, was that three in a row? Three in a row, yeah. Uh, don't know how to feel about that because, you know, we want that's four in a row. Will this make it five? No, it does not. Okay. Well, this might hurt our chances with one of those top three players. Another win. All right. Well, we lose to the Islanders. So let's just sim to this Blue Jackets game. That's another win. Okay. Why are they winning all of a sudden now? Uh, Kateri still at his point per game pace. Uh, Penguins are in a heated battle with the Islanders for the division. Uh, the Flames of the Pacific looks trash. The Blues, Jets, I mean, the Central, the Western Conference just, just doesn't look good. I thought I saw Blackhawks making playoffs. I was about to say, what? And, I mean, overall-wise, I just think there are not as many good teams this season. There's just not. I mean, the Panthers, I mean, the highest is 104. I, it does look to me like the league does seem to be a little, I mean, Detroit, they're having insane sims in that 36 team franchise like I said I was doing. They're like the second best team in the league. They're getting really damn good sims here. And they're third. Okay, where are we at right now? Yeah, we've fallen. Yeah, we might have hurt our chances for that. We've definitely potentially hurt our chances for one of those three players. Just potentially. And that is not good. And we get another win against the Blue Jackets. And to end this season, or Comrie, I mean, it don't matter now uh we'll just throw up uh, sandstrom <sighs> making me do this for the last game of the year of course they are uh felix sandstrom put him in don't really matter because the season's over after this and we oh yes and we beat the blackhawks to end on a high note Okay, I mean, we ended strong there. I mean, we ended very strong to end the season. Uh, yeah, we're definitely not in the race for Bedard, Lebedev, or Machikov. That hurt us. That is a typical Flyers move to start playing good when we really need to play shitty. That is definitely a Flyers move. Uh, did Boston make the playoffs? That That's a big thing. Did Boston make the playoffs? Jesus Christ, come on now. Oh, uh, they did. All right. Boston did make the playoffs. Okay. All right. Everything's not going our way. All right. So we'd be picking around eight right now. We need to look at Jang and Sunfist because this is right where we're going to be. And I am not crazy for this. I am not crazy. So we need to look at Casper Holtonen. He might be nice. Uh, we just need to keep scouting and looking at these guys. But I am not feeling great now that we've just started winning and we're going to be like eighth, ninth. That, that, that stinks. That blows, actually. Like, I mean, if we get Benson or Dvorsky, that'd be great. Or Brandon Yager. I mean, that would be wonderful. But, like, this is the year to go get our franchise guy. And they decide to start playing good at the end of the year. <sighs> of course. Of course. Let's look at the player stats here. And we end 36, 37, and 9. That is triggering me just a little bit. That's all I'm going to say. I am a little pissed off because... Unless we get bailed by the lottery, which is a possibility, but I'm not thrilled. Okay. Couturier ended with 30 goals, 51 assists, 81 points. He took what I said personally about him not being a first-line center. He played very good this year. Connect me. Have yourself a season. 58 points in 82 games with 12 goals, 48 six assists. And Farabee had a very good year. 28 goals, 28 assists, 56 points. Kevin Hayes, 43 points in 77 games. Frost with 39 Provi had a very, very good year. Uh, he only had 29 points. He's a defenseman, but plus plus six on the plus minus. He played very good this season. St. I was all right. Risto, not bad. Owen Tippett, and we'd like to see him do better. The GOAT, Wayne Simmons. I mean, defensively, I'd like to see some of the team get a little better. Uh, Hart had a very good year. 27, 30, and 7. 914 save percentage. And 272 goals against. And any any goaltender we use, whether it be Comrie or Sandstrom, they played very solid for us. Uh, actually, that's not true. I mean, Comrie did win all of his games. But it, save percentage wasn't great. But Sandstrom was very solid for us. So, that's a good thing to see. So, I mean, we... 
it, it might not be too hard to turn this team around, but I'm just not happy that we are getting a little bit screwed over here with uh, the prospects. Just We're not going to... Unless we get bailed by the draft lottery, we're not going to be in a great spot to pick, whether it be 8th or whatever. We're not going to be in a fantastic spot to get a player that we are going to change the franchise. Franchise. Oh, man. I can't speak today, can I? No, I cannot. All right, so we're going to be right around 7. We're going to scout Connor Leva. Oh, we already got him. Uh, Daniel said we already know. I guess focus around this area with Boston because they're in the playoffs. Uh, Yeah, let's just do this real quick. All right, Casper Holton is medium elite, so we need to definitely focus on his skills assessment. And anyone else here? All right, we're going to scout old here. He's going to be a nice second round pick, potentially, maybe. All right, that's nice to see. Let's go. All right, let's keep sending along. How did Boston do? They're 2-2 two two currently with Detroit. Keep sending along. The Leafs lose in the first round yet again. Is that a surprise to anybody? No, that is not a surprise. All right, stop simulation. Did Boston get past the first round? They did not. Okay, so that's good for us. They did not get past the first round. Uh, go to view draft class. We should probably be scouting again here very soon. Oh, uh, we do figure. We did figure out Tristan Jang. He's a player we are definitely not gonna take. Yeah, he's a top six forward, but he's got some ass stats. We're definitely not gonna take him. Our Sungfist, not much better. Don't know how to feel about this. I really don't like the position we're in picking, cause. Casper Holton in, he's at probably medium elite. Uh, no, we don't really know him necessarily still, so he could be top six. He probably is a top six. Uh, ben Laddie, but he's a grinder. I mean, I guess he'd work in Philly, but, like, he's not a bad player. He's just he's a grinder, but uh, I'm not crazy for this draft class after the top three. If we don't get a top three pick, we're basically done. I wouldn't say done, but... We're not benefited because, or even if we were top five, top six, we're still getting a solid player, but none of those guys around our range where we're going to be eight, nine, ten are going to be like that. That's the thing. I mean, Fedorov, he's a top six forward. Okay. Uh, Nachuskin, we're looking at. I mean, it, it's, this stinks. It, this stinks big time. Uh, the conference finals is the Avalanche and the Predators and the Panthers and the Hurricanes. That's actually semi-realistic besides maybe the Predators. I mean, that's still not that unrealistic. Actually, not too bad of a sim. Not too terrible. Uh, I mean, I am just not happy if we just get it right around 8 or 9. I mean, that's going to sting because none of those guys are going to be that good. That's the thing. It just sucks. So maybe the scout was right that this is a weak draft class. Past the top three, there's really nothing, honestly. I wouldn't say nothing, but there's no one that's going to really help this franchise like get off the ground like the other three would. You know what I mean? This isn't that type of guy. Uh, We'll just do Lyndon DeLuca right there. Boom. I really don't even want... No, you, I was going to say I don't want to scout, but you have. I have to. I have no other choice, obviously. Uh... Look at Oda, and I mean, all right, keep it as is. Uh, WH, Jesus Christ, I have to go button smashing again. Jesus, Marty Colborn, not a bad player, left defenseman. He's right around 42. We are, we do, we have found some guys around the second round range who might not be bad players. They might not be bad. So we got our eyes to keep on them. Or uh, Colborn, what was he? Top four defenseman. We just got to make sure he's a top four defenseman. Then we're good to go. All right. Let's just send the June. Oh, wait. No, there's still one more. One more area I got to do. That's USA East. I am not looking at the OHL, WHL, or the QMJHL again. Because simply, all the players that are put in by EA, and they had the face scans and everything. You know what I mean? They're already rendered through. We, they're not going to be anything good. So you just look at basically like Russia. SHL, La Liga, USA East, USA West, you, you get the point. I don't really, not looking at any of the OHL ones, unless they're like, auto-generated. Ooh, we got Xavier Bolt. Keep an eye on him. He, he's a nice player. Xavier Bolt, that's a nice pickup right there we can get. Uh, Anyone else we need to look at? We figured out USA East pretty well. Uh, Braden Meyer, I get Mayer, whatever the hell you want to call him. 
Uh, I guess we can scout him. We got Bolt down pretty good. Get skills assignment. Actually, playing style I think would be pretty good. Oh, we already got his playing style. Did we already? All right, we already got everything on Xavier Bolt. So we really like Xavier Bolt. We'll take him later on in the draft. He's a very, very solid player. Let's actually put him on our draft board. Let's do that, right? Let's put some players on the... Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, let's put some players on the draft board so we can get an idea who who we want. All right. Uh, I mean, if we're right around six, I'd definitely take... If Dvorsky was on our... Right around us. Jesus Christ. I, I, I hit the wrong goddamn button. I meant to hit X. Uh, yes, I would love Dvorsky. Uh, if Brandon Yeager, just we can get him too. That'd be nice. That would help out a lot. Uh, Theo Lindstein, not a big fan. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of a lot of these guys. Holtonen, eh. I mean, he could be nice. He could be. Well, we're scouting him. We'll see. Uh, ben Ladd, he's not a bad player. He'll bring toughness to this team. Bring back the Broad Street Bully type of hockey, which I am going to try and do this season. Next season. I want to make this team tougher. I want to... Yeah, maybe our goal is not to be, you know, a playoff contending team next season. However, I want this team to be the toughest son of a bitch as you play. Yeah, we might not be the best team right yet. But guess what? We're going to drive you into the ground head first. And we're going to make you wish you weren't playing hockey. Well, or you were hurt and not playing against the Flyers. We want to be that goddamn hard-nosed, that tough team that, that it used to be. Not to the extremes that they were, obviously. You need to have skill. You need to have skill. Otherwise, you're going to be the worst team in the league. Which probably would help us in the long term. But you get my point. We don't want to be full-out goons. We just want some. So we're going to try and put an emphasis on bringing back that Broad Street bully emphasis. That toughness next season. I think that would be helpful. we got a ton of tough guys that are just going to whoop your ass, basically. That would definitely help the team and bring a lot of intrigue back into the city. I think if the Flyers did that in real life this season, that would have helped. That definitely would have helped. It just a lot tough, tougher team. The Colorado Avalanche do go back to back. Okay, that was actually relatively a realistic sim. That actually wasn't crazy. Holy shit. Okay. Um. Anything else I want to keep doing? All right, we have very cast parties out. He's a top nine forward high. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Hunter, he's he's actually not a bad pickup either if we can get him. Hunter, I'm not going to try and say his name, but he's not a bad player. Denisov, not bad. Riley Robbins, decent. Uh, I'd rather have the defenseman, though. We already just looked at uh, second round. There was a couple guys I was looking at. Flynn, he was eh. We need to look at Aiden here, and we already know Fedorov. There was another one. Uh, Barlow's another one I'm going to keep my eye out on. Uh... Colborn, he's not bad. Nachuskin was the other one. It was Nachuskin. That was the other Russian. Uh, who else? Alright. So it just looks like it was Nachuskin and Colby Barlow, who, which we did have in Chicago. If you didn't know, you didn't watch that franchise. Remember, we had Colby Barlow in Chicago. He was a dog. Uh, Alright, let's just get our boy here. Oh, we need the guy from SHL as well. Uh, Aiden was his name. All right, and then we are done with scouting for the rest of the season, and we can focus on the, dra the lottery. Where will we pick? Hopefully, not where I think we will be, but I'm telling you now, it's definitely where I think it's going to be. No way we jump. Oh, wait, he's not in here. Oh, I mean, Boro was someone I was still looking at. Oh, top six forward. Okay, that's good to see. Okay, uh, Leo Carlson. All right, let's scout. It was La Liga that he was in. It was La Liga. Okay. It's La Liga. Uh, just go there real quick. Scout him. And we we're good to go. There, there he is. Right there. Boom. Alright. And then we are done. And we'll sim to the draft lottery. Hopefully. We are projected, what, 8th? I think it will tell us if I go to draft board here and hit projected. I think it does tell us projected picks. Or, or it doesn't. Or it doesn't tell us. Okay. Are we... Alright, where did we finish? How bad? We're, we had to be like 8th or ninth. There was no way we were higher than that. Or lower than that, I should say. Uh, yeah. We're, yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ninth, of course. Uh, this is hope we jump up. Do we jump up the boards for the draft lottery? Coachella Firebirds won the AHL. That's their first year as a team, too. Ain't that something. All right. Will we jump 
No, we actually fall. What? What is this bullshit? Honestly, the Rangers yet again jump up. They just have a horseshoe up their ass. And it's not the horseshoe up their ass. It's just that the NHL is giving them some sucky sucky. And they're allowing them get all the way up through the draft lottery. And get all these young players to have them get good. And as yet again, case example right there. We fall down the 10. And Minnesota jumps to first. Okay, that's very interesting. So Connor Bedard is probably going to be an Arizona Coyote. Ain't that going to be something. Uh, Lebedev's going to be a Minnesota Wild. That's going to be nasty. Lebedev and Kirill Kaprizov and the Rangers are going to get Machikov. We're going to have to play Machikov within the division. <sighs> Ain't that, that just sucks. Of course we fell too. We fell to 10. It, we didn't go up or we didn't just stay at 9. We fell. <sighs> I mean, golly. And I don't like anyone here around our range. Now, potentially what we could do is trade up. I am potentially thinking about trading up into the draft depending if someone wants to. If someone wanted to trade up perhaps, then we might make a move. We have two first round picks. I am very, And we have a lot of assets. We've stacked up a ton of assets. I am very much willing to try and trade up within the top five, top six, whatever. Whatever I got to do to make sure we get a guy. That's all I, I, we need a guy and I want to make sure we get a guy. Uh, only, I mean, Shea Weber retired, Joe, Jumbo Joe, Shea Weber retired, Philip Bilo retired, Flyers legend, Craig Anderson retired, oh, Mike Smith, elite goaltender, Scott Darling, oh man, that's a name I haven't seen in a while. Uh, all right, so that will be that for this episode and the next one's a big one. Will we trade up? It's a possibility. It's a very big possibility that we can potentially trade up. Do we just stay where we're at? Do we trade down? That's also another possibility. I don't know what we're going to do necessarily. But we're going to have to look into it. Figure out what we're going to do. And we'll go from there. Hopefully next episode. I'm not do seeing that uh, centimeters and kilometers bullshit. I need to see pounds. I need to see height and weight. I need to see that. Not the goddamn. Uh, I need to see feet. And weight and pounds. I don't want to see no goddamn centimeters and kilometers. And kilometers. Ain't no one no goddamn kilometer. Jesus Christ. You get what I'm trying to say. Centimeters and kilograms or whatever that. Yeah, kilograms. I don't give a shit. We need. I don't know what the hell that means. I can't translate it. I'm not good at math. I don't know. But anyway, like, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys in for the next.